Assalamu alaikum guys Today I'm going to be making a very 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 big announcement and something that I've never done in my entire life There's so many things that have been going on in my life There's so many things that have been going on with me and I'm the type of person who likes to keep everything private even though I'm a public figure There's no need of talking about personal things and I'm the kind of person who likes to deal with my problems on my own but the problem that has happened recently is not just my problem, it's also your problem, it's also many other people's problems. I want to start off by giving an explanation to you guys and I've thought about this so many times, I've been holding on to this inside me for the longest time ever and I feel like I owe everyone an explanation because of the fact that everyone has been wanting this, because of the fact that Sham wanted this and I just wasn't able to make everyone happy and I'm really 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 sorry for that I just want to start off by saying before making this video I had to give an explanation to Sham because he deserved it the most so a few hours ago I gave him a phone call and I let him know exactly the reason why I said no or why I told him on the day of the proposal to put the camera away and what was the true reason and through this whole time I've never really discussed this with him because like I said I don't like worrying anyone because of me so let me start off by giving you guys a brief explanation so Sham and I have traveled the entire world together like he told you guys that he's my best friend we've been through the worst we've been through the worst accident that anyone could go through and the fact that he was there just makes it even though the worst memory but a memory and we've been through the best together we've been through hell and heaven back and forth together through everything thick and thin and when it comes to feelings yes I do have feelings for him guys and it's captain obvious that he has a lot of feelings for me because we started this whole two million dare because of the fact that there was something there we were trying to see if you know we can make this happen or what happens even as a joke and for fun but there was feelings there there's still feelings there I accepted that dare and you know we went on with it and then came along my birthday and he was telling me for the longest time that he's gonna be proposing to someone showing me pictures of random girls and for some reason I just didn't believe him because I know that he has a lot of feelings for me and I know on my birthday he wouldn't be proposing to someone else but then again he was convincing me so much and I really didn't know whether to believe it or not so I went along with it and when he got on his knees I I was in shock I, I didn't know what to do I there's so many things that are going on in my life that at that moment I just didn't know what to do and I asked Mac to put the camera away I told Sham that look I'm so sorry I just need some time and and I just left I went home and ever since then I've been crying myself to sleep every single day for the past few months I've been going back and forth from the hospital because ever since the accident happened I am not normal there's something wrong with me and even the doctors at this point they're not able to figure out what's wrong with me and ever since the accident happened because during the accident when we were in the car I hit my head on the window because I was trying to sleep in the back and I didn't know what the hell was going to happen and when I did an MRI and the results came in the doctor said that they found something in my head that looked really odd and it didn't look normal so they're like a few weeks later they want to do another MRI and they want to do a detailed image of the brain and they want to find out what happened and what it really is so at that point I was just like okay you know everything's gonna be okay I prayed to Allah I know that everything's gonna be fine but like two three months ago I went to the hospital and the doctor said that they don't know exactly what it is but it's growing it's getting bigger and last few weeks it's been getting worse and worse way before my birthday i've been in and out of the hospital almost every single day and the people who see it the worst guys is my parents and they're with me 24 7 and i just i never wanted to bother sham in that way because he's such a hard worker he picks up the camera on a daily basis and i didn't want to bother him so i never really brought it up then before my birthday a week before i went to the hospital again and the doctors never really told me exactly what it was but they told me that I need to get immediate checkup right after that. I need to go to a neurologist or someone and have to find out what exactly is going on because these weird cells in my head, they're growing and every single day for the past three to four months, I haven't been able to walk properly. I haven't been able to talk properly. I'm not able to even sleep properly. It hurts so much to a point where I'm not even able to concentrate properly. I, even when I pray, I can't pray properly because it hurts. One moment, I would be normal. The next moment, I get up and I feel like I'm just gonna fall and I'm about to die because it hurts so much. The head, the brain, I have to keep holding on to it. One moment, I'd be walking and the next moment, I would have to grab onto someone's hand because I feel like this is it. And when the doctors tell you that something is growing inside your head and you don't know what it is, but it's getting bigger and bigger and I'm feeling it every single day that it's getting worse and worse, 
it's the scariest moment of your life because I've been out of the hospital but I've never been in and out of the hospital to the point where my parents are confused as to what's happening to our child the doctors don't know what's happening and I'm worried and, and all of a sudden the person who I thought for even once that I would spend the rest of my life proposes to me and I don't know what to say to him because I don't even know if I'm ever gonna be normal and honestly like Sometimes I get backflashes in my head of like not being able to remember things. Someone would tell me something and I'd forget like the next moment and I don't know like... I told Sham when I called him a few hours ago to let him know the reason why I told him I need time. That I never want to make him suffer because the person that he's trying to get married to, after we get married our life would be hell. I would be in and out of the hospital every single day and nothing would change. And instead of just me going through it miserably and my parents, now I have another person who doesn't deserve it. He's done so much for me. He picks up the camera for you guys every single day and he's vlogging every single day. What is he gonna vlog after we're married? What, my wife is at the hospital again? And she's not well, just pray for her, just pray for her. And I don't think he deserves that. And when, when he went on his knees, guys, I got goosebumps and I didn't know what to do because I was so confused. I was so confused as to should I really make him suffer? I could have said yes, I could have put a ring on my finger, I could have gone with everything, eventually we would have gotten married. But what was I supposed to tell people that I just make my husband or my fiance or whatever miserable because we're at the hospital daily and does he really deserve that? He's always spreading love, he's always spreading positivity. There's people that have come at him from left and right, but he's always trying to smile. He never tries to bring anyone down. Does he even deserve a woman in his life that breaks his home instead of building it? I never wanted to be that woman that if I was to ever get married, especially to my best friend, that I would ever break our home and bring him down and I'm just always sick or I'm just always in the hospital and like, I don't feel like he deserves that. And when I told him this over the phone, he thought I'm crazy. He said to me something that melted my heart and even made me more confused because he said to me that he's willing to go through everything with me and no matter what happened to me, health is wealth, okay? And he would be with me through thick and thin the way that we've always been. So what if we're married now? He's gonna be even more like supportive when it comes to my health. He's gonna be with me through everything. Nothing's gonna happen to me. But guys, it is so scary because as a woman, you never wanna be the one who breaks your man's home or never wanna be the woman who, instead of making a home and bringing happiness and joy in your house and your family, you're the, you're the, you're the person who's causing stress and you're causing pain to people who don't want to see you in pain so I decided not to tell him this I decided not to tell you this for the longest time ever I've never to this day poured my heart out on camera because I like to keep my personal life to myself and I don't even know why there's tears coming out of my eyes it's because I never wanted this this way I never wanted any of this to happen and at the same time I'm so confused I'm scared I don't know what's gonna happen to me. I don't know if I'll get better. I don't know if I'll get worse. I don't know if I'm gonna have to go through a surgery. I don't know what's gonna happen, but the doctors are not telling me anything. And I'm really, 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 really scared. I just want you to know that I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I'm sorry if nothing happened the way that you guys wanted it to happen. And you know, you guys are really upset. You guys have so many questions and no one was able to answer them. I'm here, I'm answering them and I'm letting you guys know that I'm sorry. I never planned on this to happen. I have a lot of feelings for him and he has a lot of feelings for me. I'm just not the kind of person who likes to make people's lives hell. And if I was feeling better, if I was normal, we would have been married, we would have been engaged at least by now, but I feel like if I was a healthier person, things would be better. But I, I don't want to make anyone stressed out because of me, and someone who talks to you guys daily does not deserve it. I just wanted to let you guys know, and I wanted to get this off my chest. I've never, ever, ever cried on camera. I've never cried to anyone in my life before, guys. Believe me. Despite of my mom, despite of my dad telling me never to upload this, to just don't worry, everything is going to be okay, I wanted to upload this because I wanted to clear all your questions out. I know many of you guys are so confused i know many of you guys are asking so many questions but i have the answers and i'm telling you that it's really scary and it's so hard and at the end of the day whatever happens in the future i want you guys to always keep me in your prayers i never said no to him i just told him i wanted some time but now he knows everything he knows that the reason i said i wanted time is because i'm not well and i'm literally in the hospital daily ever since the proposal i've tried to make things normal ever since the proposal i've tried hanging out with team rebel i've tried eating gold gappe i've tried doing everything to make everything seem normal and okay but it's not nothing is the same everything is different it's changed it feels so weird and i feel so guilty because it's all because of 
of me. I'm not well. I never wanted anyone to know because I was like, inshallah, I'll just get better and everything will be fine. But every day of my life that goes by ever since the proposal, I feel like I'm guilty for something. I feel like I broke the biggest heart ever and that belonged to my best friend and I owed him an explanation and I owed you guys an apology. I promise you guys, everything will be okay. Inshallah, one day, just keep me in your prayers. Keep him in your prayers. Keep my family in your prayers and always just stay positive, stay happy. Life is so short and you never know what's gonna happen. I want you guys to respect this decision of mine for now and I want you guys to just take a moment and give love to your loved ones. Give love to the people that you have around you while you're still alive because you don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. And I want to thank you guys for always supporting me, for always supporting Sham, for always supporting everything that we've always done. We've done the craziest things together, man. Everything online, everything in vlogs, everything from traveling to jumping off a plane to almost dying together. I just want to thank you guys for always being there throughout the entire journey. Inshallah, everything will be okay. I'll try my really, really best to be as much with you guys as possible. But, you know, daily, I, I try to be happier. I try to tell myself it's going to be okay. But nothing is right right now. But I'm trying to stay positive And I want you guys to always be by my side because that will hold me together. I hope I've answered many of your questions and I'm sorry everything didn't work out the way you wanted it to be. Please keep me in your prayers. I'm sorry for this emotional stupid video that I never ever ever thought even imagined to be ever making but I love you guys and everyone deserved an explanation and I hope I cleared everything out. This is not a video to make anyone sad. I'm sorry if I made you cry. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings and inshallah if Life is amazing, everything will go smooth, and everything will be okay. And inshallah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Till next time, peace out.